Okay, so this is Engage New York for grade three, module two, lesson number eight, and we're doing it on Tuesday. And the goal of this lesson is for students to estimate the weights of familiar objects. Okay, so first, uh, we are not going to have um, spring scales, and so you're going to want to just talk about spring scales and that they exist, but then uh, and talk about learning how to read those number lines, but then eventually when kids hold the objects, you're going to have to use the digital scale to check their weight. Um, and so those are the two main teaching points. You'll need homemade weights, as many as really you can, so that kids can hold them as they're doing their little scavenger hunt to find these things. You'll want your digital scale. You might have to kind of check objects as a group. And then you're going to want a PowerPoint of scale pictures. I agreed to make this um, for this week. Um, so, it's pretty straightforward. The first thing is just talking about spring scales that they exist and practice reading them. And then the second thing is that students do a scavenger hunt. The scavenger hunt consists of two, set, two parts and they do, it several, they do several iterations. They do it once for kilogram weights. They do it again for 100 gram weights. They do it again for 10 gram weights. They do it again for 1 gram weights. And both times students find objects that weigh less than, more than, or about that unit and then they weigh their objects. So maybe you just have, you're, you're gonna have to structure this the best way that you can given your materials. Maybe you just have a few kids get up from the circle and bring stuff back to the group. Um, and then it can be passed around the circle while you weigh it. Students complete size two of the problem set independently. So you go through these ideas of practice reading the spring scale and just estimating in grams and kilograms and then they do problem set two independently you really want to leave time to go over this problem set and talking about it. My um, Engage New York has tons of follow-up questions that go along with the problem set for the student debrief, and the student debrief is very, very important here. 